Yeah, I'll look up the Dwayne The Rock Johnson lawsuit. Here. Someone mentioned that earlier. I forgot to look it up. It was apparently named in a multi-billion dollar lawsuit from a former WWE wrestler. Holy shit, it's a kidnapping lawsuit. Oh, that's right, live action Moana. Maybe he's being sued because of how horrible that fucking idea is. They're kidnapping the audience's patience. The FBI is named in the lawsuit. Wow, that's uh, awfully ambitious. Her complaint, most of which is made up of those being sued, alleges that those named worked together in a conspiracy to kidnap her and her children. Some other names in the lawsuit are the State of Texas, the El Paso Child Protective Services, the Las Cruces, New Mexico Police Department, the NYPD, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, New York ACS, Omega, Omega Psi Phi Fraternity, Shirley Police Department, Sigma Phi Epsilon, Suffolk County, New York, the Bank of America, Home Depot, and even the... Ep Who are her children? What? Why, why, would, why would all of these people work together to kidnap her children? Are they like Super Saiyans? Fuck, Jesus Christ. Home Depot of all things. How did they get tossed into the mega mix? What the... A kidnapping aisle? What happened? I think it's a prime brain and the resub Salter, Knight, Harold, and Harrows. Apparently it's proceeded in court. That's what it said at the start. It's making waves in court. Or, um, making progress in court. Texas court records indicate that, uh... What what was it? What was her stage name? I already forgot. But Texas court records indicate that Biggs still has a bench warrant out for her after not appearing at a criminal trial in December 2022 in Texas, where she was to face charges of interference with child custody and aggra aggravated kidnapping facili facilitate. Aggravated kidnapping facilitate. Why does that sound so grammatically incorrect? Okay, so it looks like. She paid the court fees, which allowed the case to move forward, but no one's been served yet. And she is currently on their wanted list. And back in 2019 was placed as the most wanted fugitive list for child custody charges by El Paso. So this, this sounds like very serious mental illness here. What the fuck? Oh my god, Michael Jordan's named in it too. How deep does the the web go? Or uh, how deep does the rabbit hole go? If I'm reading this right, The Rock, The Miz, Chris Benoit, Mick Foley, and others conspired to kidnap Raka Khan and her children. Chris, ben Chris Benoit has been dead for fucking two decades almost. It is it, so the ghost of Crispin Walk conspired to steal her and her children? When, when does she allege that this happened, this conspiracy? Thanks to the resub tides and King Cocos and Silverleaf. <laughs> Home Depot trying to be the next Wayfair. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it must be what it is. Thanks to the resub Afro. Hey, Daz. Hope you're doing well. This is the next storyline for the WWE. Oh, man. Fuck, if only the NWL could get in on this action, we'd use this lawsuit for one of our storylines in a heartbeat. This would be huge for us. But, I mean, yeah, this is fucking serious delusion. Especially because she's paying a ton of money for this, clearly. She paid all of the fees in order to push this through the court system, apparently. Oh, that, that's a that's a big chunk of change right down the shitter. Oh wait, you're right. Wait, Billy Corgan is also named in here. Did you just start naming everyone in the wrestling industry from like all promos everywhere? Are, am I in here? Is is the MWL named in this? Fucking Dow Jones <laughs> listed on this uh 
uh, lawsuit. I can't find the lawsuit, but we got some super sleuths on Twitter that were immediately able to point out some uh, <laughs> some very shady business of this lawsuit, which is shocking. I mean, everything here seems watertight and sane, but they noticed that her child, uh, that I assume she is referring to a potential kidnapping victim of this massive Illuminati conspiracy kidnapping case, was four years old in 2019. So, that would mean Chris Benoit had already been dead and buried and literally a fucking skeleton in a coffin at this point. So when she was placed on the most wanted fugitives list, her child was four, and that was in 2019. So Chris Benoit, he must have, he must have been like, haunting the family plotting this one you're forgetting about potential time traveling shenanigans you're i didn't even stop to consider time dilation you're, you're not wrong wow thanks a prime loot in the resub spoon frank shabase she birdman range brox and the bits king and arrow How much is he asking for in damages? Three billion dollars. <laughs> yeah, you must you must have missed the uh, the most important part. Thanks to read some Nigel. You think they'll settle, brother? If a single person listed in this lawsuit even <laughs> gives this a moment of thought, I would be shocked. No, they they're not going to settle for anything. Though, if they want to, they can do it in the squared circle of the Moist Wrestling League. We'll have ourselves our first lawsuit match. We should start suing people like this as a form of networking. Not wrong, Aaron. This actually might be the play. I mean, I mean, I mean, just look at the look at the cast of characters already. I mean, we got The Rock. His lawyers are a little loosey goosey now. They're on edge after this three billion dollar lawsuit. Michael Jordan clearly roped into this as well maybe now they'd be susceptible uh, you know susceptible to another lawsuit from us and be like huh mwl interesting opportunity no it's not the article itself isn't like random the the loss they're, they're just covering this lawsuit i mean i i'd cover the lawsuit too if i worked for fucking sports manor this is a wacky one How is Michael Jordan involved if it's all wrestlers? Because it's not all wrestlers. Brother, the FBI and Home Depot are listed here. And Bank of America. It's just she also listed every wrestler ever as well. Legal Eagle on YouTube says she has a legit lawsuit. I already know. I'm just being lied to. Legal Eagle did not just cover this lawsuit. There is a 0% chance. <laughs> but I'll look it up anyway. I don't know why I'm doing this. Hey. Shocking. N nothing from Legal Eagle here. Thanks to the resub, Rinzo. <laughs> What the fuck did I just read here? Home Depot was an amazing street fight wrestler. His Fampus Top Rope 2x4 Smash. What the fuck? I feel like I know what you were going for, but everything went wrong in the sentence and made it much better. I don't know what a Fampus is, but fuck yeah. Oh, famous. Oh, I didn't even put that together. I thought that was the name of the move, like the Fampus or some shit. Won't this mess up the Rock's work with Disney? No, man. <laughs> I don't think it will. I mean, hey, I'd actually love to be wrong about that. A live-action Moana is criminal. The movie's not even 10 years old. So if it does impede on that, then this lawsuit was worth it. But there's a 0% chance. No, they are making a live-action Moana. It's not a rumor. It's The Rock himself made an announcement about it. It's It's in the pipeline. <laughs> it's cooking. Yeah, look at
Is it resub Kojin? The story isn't on mainstream news. Yeah, I only found it on two so uh, on two sites so far, and then a couple of Twitter threads about it. I'm surprised it didn't pick up more. Well, I, I'm actually not surprised it didn't pick up more steam. I imagine there are so many lawsuits just like this that are so outrageous they don't bother. But then a couple of like secondary sources, like whatever Inside the Magic is, and then Sports Manor, were like, eh, fucking run it. We got nothing else. You know how many frivolous lawsuits are filed every day? Hey, thank you for the 10 gift subs, Rizukiel. Thank you for that. Appreciate the big drop in the resub cathedral. I found it on like 12 sites from a two-second search. Really? What'd you type in? 